Okay guys, so welcome to the show. First of all, I'd like to greet you. Happy 2021. It's a new year and for our first episode for 2021, we're going to go back to basics and do a from scratch. This time we are doing from scratch carbonara. Okay, <laughs> I'm actually doubtful about this, this product. It says here, um, saute garlic, add the pasta, then sprinkle this mix. I already have an idea and since it's powdered, I most likely think it's a powdered style cream with garlic powder to, to help emulsify the sauce by adding a bit of the pasta water. Okay, so that's what this is. But we'll give it a try. Oh, by the way, this is what I'm going to be using. <laughs> First of all, let's start with this. This is country style bacon. I bought it in Rockwell. Uh, if you notice, if, if you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, I actually posted their New Year and Christmas greeting. The photo there was from Rockwell. I didn't fly the drone in there. I just used the 360 camera. So I, again, I bought this country style bacon there. This will be used with this. Now, the original version, we're gonna do traditional Italian way, which is egg yolk. But we're not gonna use bacon. We're not using pancetta. The authentic carbonara uses guanciale. And I've been to Santi's in Makati, I've been to Rustan's in Makati. I found this in Rockwell in Bacchus. So, kudos to you guys, you have guanciale. It's basically pig's cheek bacon. Yeah, we use pig's cheek for seasoning. They used it for bacon. Oh, well, for cured meat. It's a cured pig's cheek. Okay? Now, aside from that, we're also using two cheeses. This is for the main body of the carbonara. This is pecorino romano cheese. And then for finishing touch, we're going to use some parmigiano reggiano. The king of cheeses. So, let's start cooking. Let's head to the kitchen and tara. I'll teach you how to make carbonara, but first we will do this instant version, which I'm quite doubtful. Okay? So, see ya. Okay, in our pan, we're going to render some of that country bacon. Where? We're going to fry this, let all the fat render out. As it will take a while, Let's, let's fast forward this. There, saute, saute some more. And then through the magic of video editing, it is now crispy. There. Next, we will add in our pasta noodles. It's been boiling in water, salty as sea. That's what the Italians would say. And it's just below al dente. There. We'll add in our carbonara powder. That's what the instruction said. Oh, I read it wrong. You don't add garlic to it because there's garlic powder in the in powder itself. Okay, so we're going to add in two ladles of the pasta water. There. We're going to emulsify this. Finish all the powder and continue stirring until it's almost done, we'll add more pasta water and let it emulsify. It's supposed to look like that. I don't see it. There. Okay, continue mixing until it's thickened. And I think that's it. That's our instant carbonara. We're done. Okay, in our bowl, there's a, an egg yolk. We're going to add in our pecorino romano. There. Next, we will mix this really well with a um, whisk and put it aside. There. We're now going to render our guanciale. As I said, this is pig's cheek bacon. Okay? Or cured meat. There, look at that. Once it's brown, we'll add in our pasta noodles. Once again, it is just below al dente. And we're going to add in our cheese and egg yolk mixture. This is off the heat. In other words, the pan is off. We're going to add a couple ladles of that pasta water. And we'll emulsify this 
on a very medium flame. Then continue mixing, and that's it. Look at that, nice and creamy, and that's the pasta dish. Okay, focus, focus. There, much better. Okay, so we finished cooking. Here I will show you first the instant carbonara. Okay, it actually says here add milk. Um, no, I added the water from the pasta, um, the pasta water or the water we use to cook for the pasta, which is traditional. The excess starch in it actually helps emulsify and make a sauce for any noodle. Okay, so here it is. Look at it. Nice and nice bacon. Really dry though. Like, super dry. Not the beer. <laughs> San Miguel, super dry. No, just kidding. What? I'll, I'll fix first the lighting for this. It's kinda too bright. There. Okay, guys, so here's the McCormick version. Look at it. Yeah. Super dry. And super dry. I'll give this one a taste. Oh, a bit salty. My dear, this is water only. A bit salty. Not because of the bacon, but maybe because of the packet. It says here this is good for two servings. I'm making it for one. It's a bit salty, but flavor-wise, it's okay. If you if you don't mind salty, the salty taste, it actually is good. But it has that herby taste to it that I think it's... Let me read the ingredients in this. Yada, 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 yada. And, oh, spices and herbs. Which means I believe they added... I can see specks of green. So most likely this is... Basil. They added basil carbonara. Traditional one. If if an Italian would try this, he's gonna throw the plate out. Really, honestly. But overall, for how fast it cooks and how easy it is, it's good for an instant. Really good. Now, this one is mine. Look at that glorious plate. You can see, nice and emulsified. A bit more parmesan cheese on top, and what car what makes carbonara a carbonara is black pepper. It's actually made by the coal miner's wife. That's why carbon carbonara when they have coal on their face and they're eating falls down. It looks like black pepper. That's why it's called carbonara. So we'll give this one a try. Look. Yes, it's creamy at the bottom. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me give this one a try. Ooh, ooh. It's a lot yellower than the other the other pasta. We'll give this one a try. Smoother flavor. You can really taste that one chale. There's there's a sort of a cured taste to it. And that pecorino romano has a nice salty bite. It's not overly salty, and that black pepper counters whatever saltiness there is. It's really good. Actually, I'm going over for a second bite with a bit more guanciale. Okay. Now, the, tri the Filipino way of making carbonara uses cream, garlic, bacon, and mushrooms, if I remember right. I'm not saying that it's wrong, but it's more of an alfredo to me than a carbonara. See this? Look at that. That guanciale is something else. I'm really happy that I was able to find that. Now, why did I make this? Because two years ago, 2019, sorry, 2021, I was supposed to go to, I was actually supposed to taste this with cacio e pepe in Rome, but I wasn't able to because uh, I had to leave early to come back to the Philippines. So, this is my version of it. I hope you like it. Now, 
I'm saying there's nothing wrong with instant it's really good but if you have a choice and you have time on your hands and budget and you're willing to search for those good ingredients please do so try the authentic carbonara it won't go wrong okay so till next vlog see ya don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in my dining room tara kain tayo bye bye